All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here, and I have a quick unboxing and first impressions video of a new case from Spigen that came out for the iPhone 12. So I have an iPhone 12 sitting here right in front of you. Now this will fit a Pro as well, so it does a 12 and 12 Pro. I picked this case up at Best Buy for $19.99. I have to imagine it's the only case that, uh, or excuse me, that Spigen made this case for Best Buy because I couldn't find it on Spigen's website or on Amazon. So if I am wrong, please comment down below and correct me. But like I said, that's the only place I could find this case. Uh, and I'm kind of embarrassed because I've literally had speaking cases for years now. And this is the first core armor that I've run across. So usually they probably make these for iPhones, I have to imagine, because they definitely haven't made it for Samsungs. And I'm a big Samsung guy. So like I said, once again, correct me if I'm wrong. But $19.99, not a bad deal. So as far as the case goes, um, the boxing experience is very similar to the other speaking cases that I've bought from Amazon. Main difference is there's no slide down like the like the uh, like this one. Most of them usually are kind of a pull tab that you pull up and then pull the case out. But this does have a little bit better um, presentation as far as the box goes, in my opinion. Now you do have the speaking branding up here in the top left hand corner. You have a picture of the case itself on an iPhone 12 Pro. And here it does say that it is for the 6.1 inch for 2020, which once again is for the 12 or 12 Pro. Core Armor is the name, and it is letting you know that it is a military graded drop protection as far as that goes. On the back, once again, Spigen brand in there. The picture here is showing that there is the air cushion technology so just letting you know that that's in the corners there for that added protection. And then the spider web pattern design inside of the case that's actually brushing up against the phone the whole time. Now go ahead and read this. It does say it's a slim design for perfect grip, form fitted for device and perfect protection. And there is some dimensions here, but basically it's almost three inches by like 5.93 inches by 0.42 inches. So it's a very slim case. And then of course, being in uh, speak and branding on the side there and nothing on the right side. So let's go ahead and slide this up and let's get the case out. I'm gonna put this back here. Okay. And then there is the phone case. So as far as the phone case goes, it's a uh, kind of a two tone black here. So there's two different patterns. Uh, online on the Best Buy description, it does say that it's like a carbon fiber look. It's not carbon fiber. I don't know why they said that. I mean, it kind of has these ridges that almost makes it look carbon fiber, but it's definitely not carbon fiber. Um, but the ridges look cool. There is a texture there. Maybe if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but definitely there is some ridges there maybe for the uh, grip. Now the bottom here is a different material. It looks very similar to like the rub, uh, rugged armor um, as far as that look goes, or look goes, excuse me. Spigen brand in there on the bottom. And as you can see, it does have this like shiny black um, material uh, that goes all around. So that's what the wording is. That's where all these lines go around, the separation between the two patterns. And as I can move it around and the light hits it, you can see it just kind of goes all around. So looks pretty good. Now, as far as the camera bump cutout goes, uh, there is a little bit of a lip there um, with that same material, but you are getting that little bit of protection there to help if you lay the uh, phone face down or back down, excuse me, on a table or something. Um, very slim profile. On the right side, you have your uh, power button there. On the bottom, you have your lightning port cutout and your speaker grill cutout there. And then on the left side, you have your volume up and down button, and then the cutout for the alert slider for your silent mode and ringer mode and all that. And then that's it, so nothing else. So let's go ahead and grab the phone real quick and slap it on. So the way I usually put my cases on is I start with the bottom and the top left corners, put those in, and then I just push down. So that way the button slides in and we're good to go. So there is the case on the phone itself. Looks really good in my opinion. I really like the look, especially with the color of the black camera bump, kind of all these different shades of black. It just looks really good. Um, but yeah, and as you can see there, there is a little bit of a bump or raise for the lip of the camera bump there. 
So you're going to have that protection laying it down on a table and not worrying about that camera bump getting hit or anything. Now as far as the slimness goes, that's what it looks like there. So it's a very slim case. I mean, it definitely hardly adds any noticeable bulk, if any. And that's what's really cool about these flat edges on the iPhone 12 is that it's given you uh, just a little bit different feel. So I like that the case makes those sharp edges go away a little bit. If you have a 12 or 12 Pro, then you understand what I'm talking about. So when it meets there, uh, it's it just if you don't have a case on it, it feels sharp. And that's just a description that I've heard from other people as well. But it is a proper description because it does feel sharp. It's not sharp, sharp, but it just, I don't know. In certain ways you hold it, it's not very comfortable. Um, but with this case, it does feel very good in the hand. Um, but as you can see there, the bump, as far as the cutouts go, no obstruction of the uh, lightning port or the speaker grill, so it looks good there. You have a very tactified button, so let's see if you can hear that. And then that was the volume up and down. Now let's do the power button. Very tactified once again. And let's see, let's go ahead and test out the button here. Very easy to access, so definitely no obstruction there. So yeah, so all around this is a fantastic case, feels really good in the hand. As you can see, I have a tempered glass already on my phone as well, and there's no obstruction as well, so there's no interference of my tempered glass as well. And then you can see the flat profile there, a little bit of a lip, so you do have that comfortable feeling of putting it face down on a table or something of that nature. But all around, guys, this case feels really good in the hand. Um, I wish there was a little bit of some like texture here on the sides for like added grip. Because with this being like a soft and smooth TPU, I can see how this can get a little bit slippery. Um, but of course, if you have like moisture on your hand or anything like that, then it's probably not going to be a problem. And when I mean moisture, I mean just... You know, if it's not freezing cold outside and you you know you just don't have a grip or anything, if that makes sense. Um, but for the most part, it does feel really good in the hand. I feel confident holding it. But like I said, I do wish there was a few little like ridges or something, some sort of texture there to just give that little bit added grip. But once again, with those squared off sides, you do feel a lot more confident holding this phone um, because it's not a huge phone. It's actually a little bit smaller than the iPhone 11. Um, but either way, there it is, core armor for the iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro. I would highly recommend this case because it looks good, it looks premium, uh, it looks fast since it does have that kind of carbon fiber look. You know, once again, it's not, but it is. Um, but yeah, I think it looks damn good, guys. So comment down below, let me know if you've had this case on a phone before. Or if you pick this up from Best Buy like I did, let me know how you like it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you on the next one, guys. Be safe out there and uh, appreciate you to hit that like button and hit that subscription button. Have a good one, guys.